today, AMD revealed Ryzen 7000's release date, Intel is over a year late, ARC GPUs are worse than we thought, AMD's giving out free performance, and GPU prices plummeting. Forget about paying MSRP. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, it looks like AMD just leaked the release date for their own Ryzen 7000 CPUs. Apparently, during a presentation in China, the company showed off this slide, and as you can see, it's referring to the AM5 platform, which AMD has already confirmed that their Ryzen 7000 CPUs are set to be the first to use it. And when we look right here, there's a date for September 15th, obviously referencing to the release of the platform. And that would of course mean that Ryzen 7000 is set for release on September 15th, given AM5 boards obviously wouldn't launch without CPUs that work with it. AMD previously claimed a fall 2022 release date, so maybe they're gearing up for a release sooner than that. According to the poster, it's an offline dealer promotion, so AMD likely didn't intend for this to get out. Either way, it looks like we won't have to wait long before AMD releases their next-gen CPUs. Next, you've got to check out the ultimate free-to-play PC game that puts you at the helm of your very own warship. I'm of course talking about this video's sponsor, World of Warships, the hugely popular online game that thrusts you into one of multiple ship classes to rule the seas, from battleships to destroyers and more. I mean, we're talking they have aircraft carriers, all of which are meticulously crafted to recreate the gorgeous vessels from the First and Second World Wars, and with over 40 unique maps, each with dynamic weather and gorgeous water effects, you'll get a chance to master your skills in some of the most incredible landscapes. Plus, they release awesome new content every month. Oh, and did I mention it's even available on consoles? So don't wait, there's never been a better time to join because when you sign up with my link in the description and use the code FIRE, you'll get 200 free to balloons, premium battleship USS Texas, 20 times restless fire camouflage, 1 million credits, and 7 days of their premium account. Next up for today, it looks like Intel's next-gen Sapphire Rapids has been delayed further than we thought. If you remember, not long ago, Intel confirmed that the ramp-up for Sapphire Rapids is happening later than they originally forecasted. Well, according to an analyst at TF International Securities, supply chain checks point to the shipment being postponed to Q2 of next year. That's well over a year later than Intel initially planned, which was Q4 of 2021. Get this though, Newegg is already selling coolers for the upcoming CPUs. Basically, Intel has completely botched yet another launch, making me even more worried about their ARC GPUs. And speaking of Intel GPUs, it looks like their first desktop ARC GPU is way worse than Intel made it seem. If you saw my recent video on it, you know that Intel announced their first desktop ARC GPU called the A3080. And while they didn't give us much info on performance, they did say that it offers 25% better performance per yuan than the RX 6400. Now, that's obviously a little bit deceptive given it's not actually 25% faster because the A380 is cheaper than AMD's RX 6400. The problem is that it's even worse than you think. According to 3dcenter.org, who did the math to get the actual performance difference, Intel's A380 is just 4% faster than AMD's 6400. Now, that doesn't mean Intel lied or anything like that. The A380 is in fact cheaper than the 6400, but 4% is literally within the margin of error. And once again, both AMD and Nvidia are set to launch their next-gen GPUs before long. So with the fact that the A380 is such a poor performer, I really don't have high hopes for their higher end models, especially given GPU prices are getting lower and lower. Maybe if they would have released it a year or two ago when they originally planned, but at this point, it just seems too late. Next up, AMD looks set to give a huge performance boost to their GPUs yet again. If you remember just last month, AMD released a driver that gave their GPUs a big boost in DirectX 11 games. I mean, we're talking upwards of 30% plus gains, so not just a tiny performance boost. Well, it looks like they're doing it yet again, but this time with OpenGL. According to reports, AMD is planning to release a new driver in an upcoming Windows 11 build that gives a huge boost in OpenGL. A user on the Guru3D forum actually got a chance to test the update, and he saw a massive 55% performance increase in the Unigen Valley benchmark and a 34% boost in Unigen Superposition. Oddly enough, there does seem to be some issues with decreased performance, so AMD clearly has some issues to iron out. Either way, if this is the case, it should give some huge 
performance boost to a bunch of older games. And lastly for today, it's finally happened. The GPU price crash is here, and it looks like it won't be stopping anytime soon. As Tom's Hardware reports, GPU prices dropped 15% in May, and they've been going down 10 to 15% for months. But things are about to get even better, at least for gamers, not so much GPU makers or retailers. If you've been following the crypto market, you know that it recently crashed yet again, reaching around the $20,000 mark for Bitcoin and $1,100 for Ethereum. That's less than a third of their all-time highs, and that means mining has become far less profitable. In fact, for a ton of miners, it flat isn't. So just like what we saw back in 2018, miners are scrambling to recoup some of their money, which means they're selling GPUs. And according to Bloomberg, Ethereum miners spent around $15 billion on GPUs during the last crypto jump, so there's a ton of GPUs being flooded into the market. Just a few months ago, a 3080 went for over a grand on eBay. Now you can pick one up for $700 or less. Tom's Hardware has even seen listings of lots selling for $418 a piece. Before anyone says it, I know there's a debate about whether you should or shouldn't buy a mining GPU, but that's not even important here. See, when the used market is flooded with the product, it affects the new market as well. Simply put, when there's an influx in supply in the used market, the new market can't maintain a high price. To make matters worse for GPU sellers, both AMD and NVIDIA are set to release their next-gen GPUs this year, so retailers will have a big incentive to get rid of stock as fast as possible. Basically, prices are likely to continue falling to well below MSRP. So for anyone that's been waiting for a crash to pick up a great deal, your time has come. So while that does it for today, let me know what prices you're currently seeing on GPUs down in the comments below. And make sure to check out World of Warships down in the description below. And as always, have a great day!